Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, aren't rocks cool? Aren't they like super awesome? We're learning some amazing stuff about rocks. In this segment, we want to talk about something called a metamorphic rock. You guys remember the story of the snail, or the caterpillar, I mean, <laughs> I can't remember my own stuff. The caterpillar who turns into a butterfly, he metamorphizes, didn't he? That means changed rocks, rocks that change. What'd they change from? Oh, they changed from a sedimentary rock. Pressure and temperature makes a metamorphic rock. Or they came from an igneous rock. Pressure and temperature makes a metamorphic rock. So you, they came from one of the other two types of rocks. Usually, by the way, sedimentary rock. Well, that's not completely true. I guess it's probably uh, a mixture. So, but it has, if you take a rock and you put it under great pressure and temperature, it can turn into a metamorphic rock. And if we look at it, it's, one thing you're going to see in metamorphic rocks is like these little crazy curvy bandy things. That's a dead giveaway for a metamorphic rock. Turns out there are two kinds of metamorphic rocks. Or they, they're caused by two things, I should probably say. They're either contact metamorphism or regional metamorphism. Contact metamorphism almost always has to do with heat. So if you have some lava that intrudes into a certain area, the rocks around it will heat up and they will metamorphize. Regional, well, I'll show a picture of what that looks like. So let's talk about um, contact metamorphism. So if you look at this image, it kind of you've got this magma chamber that comes. You've got here some sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks, when you see them all nice pretty layers, that's probably a sedimentary rock. And then what happens is, as the magma comes in, you're going to get contact metamorphism right in here. Exciting things on the boundaries, because these rocks are going to melt and then re-solidify, and it's going to change the way they are. So contact metamorphism is caused by the contact of hot magma with the previous rocks. The second kind, though, is, is um, regional metamorphism, and this is actually quite common, uh, at least we see this in the world, and this is where you get huge amounts of pressure. And we haven't really learned about uh, plate tectonics yet, but there's these huge plates on the Earth, and what happens is, is that the plates oftentimes move together, for example, and what happens is, is they collide. The pressure on the rocks, the underlying rocks, these are probably igneous rocks, cause this huge, crazy, shapey thing to happen, and then you get a different kind of a metamorph. It actually changes the chemical makeup of the rocks, and they're very important in terms of like where minerals. These actually cause us to find where gold veins are and, and uh, different rocks that are important. Again, that'll be in the next video, but it's important to understand where this all comes from. So let's talk about the sort of the most sort of important thing in metamorphic rocks is, is this bandy thing going on. It's called foliation. Can you say foliation? Good, you got it, foliation. All right, so before metamorphism, right, they're just all kind of random. But as you put pressure on them, it puts them into lines. So here is granite. We've seen granite before. You probably have granite countertops at your house. But if you put it under metamorphism, do you see this is the same exact chemicals, but now they're in bands, the high pressure and some hot temperature, and then they make straight lines. So it's not a random pattern anymore. This is that stress that's caused by the mountain building. And eventually, of course, those rocks somehow make its way to the surface and we get to see them. Or maybe we dig a mine and we see them down there. So metamorphic rocks, not a whole lot to learn except they are the ones that get changed. Houston, aren't rocks cool? See you in class.